Hello, this is Gupteshwara from the digital teacher.in based at Visakhapatna. Today, you are going to learn about a unique type of reflection where you have two mirrors inclined at an angle and when an object is placed in between the two mirrors, the number of images so formed depend on the angle of between the two. Now for that, let us go to the simulation where I have already kept two plane mirrors. This is one and this is two, the second one. They have made an angle here, you see, 120 degrees. The angle between the two mirrors is 120 degrees here, okay? Now this is the object or the source of light. The source of light, and here you get two images. This is one image, and this is the other image. Now let us see how it works out. Now the rays of light which pass out from the object they are reflected and then the image is formed by the one mirror on this side is here and the image formed by the other mirror is here. So you got only two images because there is no further multiple reflections. Now let us see what happens when the angle between the two mirrors is 90. So let us set it for the 90 degrees let us see so here we get it to setting the mirrors for 90 degrees let's see yeah here it is 90 yeah now you see here the same type of reflection takes place and you got three images. One is here, another is here, another is here. Now, to see how the images are formed, let us use another tool where it is before the tool is used, it's the position like this. Now when it is used, you see that the mirrors are elongated, okay? And then the rays passing on one mirror is a brown colored one and on the other mirror is a red colored one. Okay, let us see. So this object will have the image here for this mirror. And the same object, for this mirror, we'll have an image here. Okay. Now what happens when this is, the mirror is extended, suppose. Now this becomes the object for this mirror. So it gives an image here. Similarly, this becomes the object for this mirror. So it becomes here. So ultimately you got three images. Now there is a specific rule which is obeyed by this. The number of images formed is directly proportional, is equal to 360 by theta minus one, where theta is the angle between the two mirrors. Now, if theta is 90, it becomes 360 by 90, that is four minus one, that must be equal to three. If theta is 120, 360 by 120 is three minus one, that is two. Now, let us see what happens when the angle is 60. Now, let us go back to 60, the angle between the two.
60. Now you see this object, the angle between the two mirrors is 60. I will show once again how the refractions are taking place. Now if you want the simple image formation, you click here, you get how this, how Now here you got how many images? One, two, three, four, five. Again, obeying that formula. 360 by 60 is six minus one. So when it comes to 45, or say we are not 45. Forty five top let us see with sixty. Now let us take it to forty five. The number of images formed will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Because 360 by 45 is 8, 8 minus 1 is 7. So the number of images so formed. Now what happens when the mirrors are parallel to each other? That means the angle between the two mirrors is 0. So that will have an infinite images. Now let us see, we will take it close to the zero, but where here we cannot get less than this. Now you see the multiple images formed here. Because, okay, 22.6, how many images are formed. So this is how it works. The, this is how the formation of images are done. And thank you.